Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma, and today I'm going to tell you about this beautiful 2017 Infinity Q60 3.0 premium all wheel drive that we have for sale. Uh, this one's a local one owner clean car pack vehicle. We acquired it off lease from Infinity Financial Services. It's been serviced and checked by our techs. The brakes are good, the tires are good. All it needs now is a new home. If you're in the market for a stylish performance luxury coupe, the Q60 is a great choice. Uh, built, in the, built in Japan, uh, beautiful styling. Doesn't get too much better than this for a performance luxury coupe in this price range. We have the original build sheet on it. MSRP when new is $52,100. Um, it has a radiant grill emblem. That was a $400 option. So basically the uh, grill lights up at nighttime. It looks super duper cool. Then we have the premium plus package. That was a $3,200 option. Um, and it gives you navigation system of voice recognition, infinity in touch services, uh, navi synchronized adaptive shift control. So um, the transmission can see the upcoming road conditions in the navigation and it can prepare itself. Uh, the adaptive shift control momentarily will hold the current gear for better acceleration at every turn, corner, or when accelerating up a hill. Uh, Sirius XM traffic is also available. That is a subscription based service. Heated front seats, heated steering wheel, remote engine start, and power tilt uh, telescoping steering column with memory versus manual tilt telescoping. Uh, dual occupant memories uh, seat for the driver's seat, mirrors, and steering column settings, and driver seat lower lumbar support. Then we have a limited kick plates, $400 option, the Infinity uh, Welcome Lighting. That is a $425 option. That really looks cool. So the welcome lighting uh, has lights underneath the car. So as you approach it, the whole car lights up uh, the ground underneath it, which really gives you a cool ambient effect, uh, especially when you have it in a garage. In a garage at night, you walk up to it, it really looks awesome. And it definitely impress your friends and family. And then we have the interior ambient lighting. That is a $470 option. So very, very well equipped. And uh, I'll let you in on a little secret. The 2020s are really not that much different. If you parked one next to this one, you'd really have a hard time telling the difference. They did uh, uh, give the 2020s uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but Infinity and Touch Services, there's a lot of things that Apple CarPlay and Android Auto can do. And I know some people want to project the screen on their phone onto the screen up here but this has a gps navigation system that probably works better than the one on your cell phone since it doesn't have to rely on a cell phone network uh, with uh, gps navigation you'll never have to worry about running out of signal there's been a few times where i've been in rural oregon where i lost cell phone signal and i've lost navigation so that's the nice thing about having a gps based navigation system you can see that the Q60 has a dual display system. The top screen is for navigation and parking camera. The bottom screen is a tablet-like interface. We have a drive mode selector that will make changes to steering, uh, transmission and engine settings, uh, traction stability control settings, snow, eco, standard, sport, and personal. Uh, but you can also uh, access that down here and you can personalize it too. So for instance, if you want the, uh, the engine and transmission in sport mode, but you like the way the steering is in standard mode, you can do that as well. Uh, we have active trace control that will break individual wheels to help the vehicle rotate a little bit better through corners. Um, you can shut that on or off. Cool stuff. Um, we also have uh, a Bose Performance Series audio system for you music lovers. I think you'll definitely appreciate that. It sounds amazing. Automatic dimming mirror of universal garage door opener. Moonroof. This Q60 looks beautiful in black on black. Uh oh, trying to forget that. Just a lens cover to my camera. So the Q60 is uh, built on the same platform as the Q50. Uh, it's a sports car platform. It's called the Advanced Friendship Platform. The reason why they call it that is they take the engine, they place it as far back behind the front axle as possible so the center of gravity is towards the middle of the vehicle and that helps improve the handling and feel to the corners. It is a rear wheel drive platform, uh, also shared with a 350Z, 370Z, so it, it's a lot of fun to drive. 
Uh, rear wheel drive is standard on the Q60, all wheel drive is optional. This one has the optional all wheel drive system. And it's a rear wheel drive biased all wheel drive system. So in dry conditions like this, when all wheel drive is not needed, it will be 100% rear wheel drive power. That gives you the feel of a rear wheel drive sports car, but it also helps cut down on premature tire wear and improves gas mileage versus the all wheel drive system constantly working all the time. But as soon as those rear wheels slip, this has an amazing electromagnetic differential uh, that can activate the all-wheel drive system almost instantly. In a matter of milliseconds, it can actually send 50% of the vehicle's power to the front wheels. So really improves your wet weather performance. And if you ever drive in the snow, they'll do a lot better with all-wheel drive versus rear-wheel drive. Beautiful lines, you can just stare at this car all day long. It is stunning. Uh, dual exhaust system. Uh, and the front end styling is the most stunning, I think. Adaptive Xenon lights provide outstanding nighttime visibility. Then we have uh, daytime LED lights. Gorgeous grill. I think this is one of the best looking coupes in the price range. And it's just, just not me, look at a lot of uh, the automotive press reviewing the Q16 and you'll see a lot of them lavish the praise upon its styling. Really impressive automobile. There are different engines in 17 available in the Q60. You could have a four cylinder uh, turbo or two twin turbo V6s. This is kind of like the Goldilocks engine. It's not too powerful. But it does, it's not, you know, not not power, unpowerful unpower, enough. Actually, I don't know if that statement made sense, but you could have a four cylinder engine of 208 horsepower, which is fine for most people, but if you really want some performance and acceleration, going up to this twin turbo V6 gives you 300 horsepower. And then there's the optional Red Sport model, which is the high performance 400 horsepower model, which is a little bit more money. A, a Red Sport would probably be. A comparable Red Sport, same year, same miles, would probably be about $10,000 more than this one. So uh, this is really a great, uh, great uh, Goldilocks engine. 300 horsepower is more than enough power for most people. It is very, very fast. Thank you so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully we see you soon and have a wonderful day.